11 returning fads of 2015. History tends to repeat itself. And nowhere is this more true than in the world of fashion. In 2015, we had quite a few revisits. Faux pas or genius? You decide. Number 11, plastic jewelry. Sabrina the Teenage Witch rocked these on the daily, as did everyone else in the 90s. Now does this also mean barbed wire tattoos are back? Number 10, crop tops have made a comeback. And they ain't leaving. Dressed up or dressed down, we're showing off a little midriff. Well, the ladies anyway. Sorry guys, maybe your time will come again. Number nine, high-waisted, which goes hand in hand with the crop top movement. Shorts, pants, skirts, I give the low-rise comeback another few years. Mark my words. Number eight, mules. Who knew fashion better than Carrie Bradshaw? The hippest of the hip wore these backless beauties. Now tell me, they went out of style because they fall off your feet way too easy. Am I right? Number seven, scrunchies. Can it be true? Indeed, move over thin banded practical hair ties. The fashion accessory of the 80s is back. And just in time for number six, colored hair. Back in the 90s, colored hair was reserved for rebels and punk kids. In 2015, it's second nature and more crazy creative than we could have foreseen. The full rainbow? Are we all unicorns? Mind blown. Number five, floral skater dresses. This early Friends era style is back. Combat boots, maybe some mules. Thank God we're not still pairing them with t-shirts. Number four, glasses. The nerd of days past is 2015's hippest of hipsters. Faux lenses, come on people. Glasses are necessity, not accessory. Can't we just appreciate our 2020 vision and rejoice in the unuse of corrective lenses? Number three, double denim. Denim jackets were all the rage in their acid wash fringed glory, and they've been recently reinvented. Darker washes, a little less bedazzle, but who knows, maybe that's next. Number two, bell bottoms. Who do we have to thank for this? It's been revisited in jest for decades, but my friends, costuming just got a whole lot easier. The new current styles also feature a lot of lace and sheer, in addition to that retro velvety goodness. Number one, bucket hat. Well, fishermen have been wearing this practical headgear for as long as they've been around. But in the 90s, somebody made it fashion. And now they're back with a vengeance. Thanks for watching.